Hey guys, Ravi here and in this video I am going to show you how you can spice up your PC build by installing some LED lighting. I will be installing the LEDs inside the case but you can follow the same procedure to put them on the bottom on the sides or wherever the heck your heart desires. Here's what you will need for this project. A LED light strip with an adhesive bag of a color of your choice. I am using white LEDs to go with my white case. You will need a few thin wires and electrical tape for insulation. Finally, you will require some soldering supplies along with a wire cutter. If you got all that, then let's get started. First of all, if your LED strip didn't come with wires attached on one side, then you need to solder some long wires to these pads. My strip came with some pretty short wires so I am extending them by soldering this red and black pair of wires. On the other end of these wires though, I am soldering a pair of stripped jumper cables. Why I am doing this will become clear in a minute but you don't necessarily need the jumper cables. Regular wires will work just fine. Now you need to insulate these joints by using some electrical tape. Before sticking this strip to the case, we should first test it. With your PC turned off and unplugged, take off the back panel. Now you need to locate the 4 pin molex connector of your power supply which looks like this. Now while I was building this PC I showed a special kind of genius and tied off the molex connector to the back making it inaccessible. But luckily the end of the molex connection wire has this 4 pin female header which was poking out in the perfect place for my use. In a molex connector the two middle wires are ground while the yellow wire is 12 volts and the red wire is 5 volts. We want to connect our LED strips positive to the yellow side and ground to the black wire right beside it. Make sure that you have connected the right wires by checking and double checking which wire is which because if you connect it wrong then your whole LED strip is bound to be destroyed. If you have made the connections then you can turn on the PC to check whether the strip lights up. Now let's measure the required length and cut the strip to size. Just hold the strip where you plan to place it and find out the nearest joint at the end of your measurement. Also avoid placing the LEDs on the bottom because this strip will be visible there. My rough estimate came up to this joint but I'm going to be cautious and cut it at the next joint over. Because you can always hide the excess but if you are short then adding extra LEDs can be a pain. You can only cut these LED strips right in the middle of these solder pads. If you cut them anywhere else then you will damage it. This done, you need to peel off the adhesive bag and start sticking the strip from the open end that is opposite to the end on which the wires are attached. Make sure the strip is facing such that the LEDs will throw the light at the window. This fan is in my way so I am going to temporarily unscrew it and continue sticking the strip avoiding the screw holes of the fan. At the corners you don't want to bend the strip at a sharp angle but rather curve it in a small arc. If you bend the strip at a 90 degree angle then you are at a risk of damaging it. At the end I can just about reach the bottom so that extra length was a good idea after all. Now just route the cable to the back of the case where you can connect it to the molex connector like before making sure that you are indeed connecting 12 volts to 12 volts and ground to ground. And that is the lights installed. Turning on the PC should also light up the LEDs. Thanks for watching guys. You can check out the link in the description below to see how I built this PC. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe for more awesome projects and I will see you in the next video.